US to repair Bossa Air Base runway, Atmos howitzers of the Army deployed for combat, please like and share the video, and subscribe to the channel. The United States Department of Defense or DOD recently posted a contract on their website for the repair of the existing asphalt runway of Bossa Air Base in Pampanga. The contract is worth US$24 million United States dollars or US$1.4 billion Philippine pesos using the current exchange rate of US$58.8 pesos per dollar. It was awarded to an American company called Environmental Chemical Corporation, which is based in California. The repair is scheduled to be completed by next year in August of 2023. No other details were mentioned in the website, but this seems to be part of the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement or EDCA which now seems to be in full swing under the new administration of President Bong Bong Marcos or PBBM. The implementation of this agreement seems to have been delayed for various reasons during the previous administration of former President Rodrigo Duterte, the agreement allows American military troops to have access to military bases owned by the Philippines. And in return the Americans develop or improve the facilities of those bases. Around five Philippine bases are covered by the agreement, and Bossa Air Base is just one of them. This is good because looking at the pictures, Bossa Air Base really does need some improvements also as their infrastructure do not look that impressive as of now. However, note that the Americans are not doing these improvements out of the goodness of their heart, they are only spending for them because they get to use it also. And they still will not be paying any rent to the Philippines for almost unlimited military access to our country, something which no other country in Southeast Asia will give them. Back in 2020, for example, when the United States asked Indonesia if they could land and refuel their P-8 Poseidon aircraft there, the Indonesians simply told them to go and screw their American selves. And yet here in the Philippines, they get almost unlimited military access despite not paying any rent, despite abandoning us against China in Panatag Shoal back in 2012 and despite the fact that they do not recognize any of the Philippines' claimed territories like the Kalan Island Group, Sabah and Itu Arbar. Meanwhile, the Philippine Army is finally deploying their brand new autonomous truck-mounted howitzer systems or ATMOS for combat missions, with two of their three batteries being deployed in Mindanao. These units were initially delivered to the Philippines back in December of 2021. The self-propelled howitzers or SPH belongs to the 10th Field Artillery Battalion which has taken the name the Rolling Thunder Battalion. Each battery consists of four units, so a total of eight units are being fielded in Mindanao. The two batteries were given a send-off ceremony last September 21, 2022 at the Fort Bonifacio camp in Manila. They were transported by ship and left port last September 24, 2022 from Sanglay Point in Cavite and arrived in General Santos City in Mindanao less than a week later on September 29, 2022. Top Philippine defense and military officials called these howitzers as game changers and will significantly improve the firepower and capability of the Philippine Army against any enemy forces out there. The remaining one battery of the howitzers which consists of four units was deployed in Fort Magsaysay in Nueva Ecija. To summarize, the United States is spending $24 million or around 1.4 billion pesos to repair the runway at Bossa Air Base, likely as a part of the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement they have with the Philippines while the Philippine Army is deploying its autonomous truck-mounted howitzer systems for combat in Mindanao and Luzon. Thank you for watching the video, I invite you again to like and share it, and subscribe to the channel.